A typical day in the Greek public service, laid back and relaxed. Job statistics show there are too many civil servants in Greece, where one in seven workers is on the government's payroll. This office in Athens registers new businesses and paperwork can take up to three weeks to process. People are tired of the delays. If you get a civil servant in a bad mood, you know nothing will happen to your application for a while. The authorities work unbelievably slow. It will take a lot of changes to get the bureaucracy working again. On a hill high above the Greek capital stands another public institution, the Office for Environmental Analysis, which is aiming to improve air quality in Athens. Nick Rukonakis works here and he believes the country's public sector has been unjustly maligned. He says his colleagues work hard, but the office is underfunded and ill-equipped. Without the promise of EU help, the engineer says he may have decided to leave Greece altogether. The reason I came back from uh, working in England and France was not because the salary was better, but because uh, I want to offer to my country. Yesterday, with uh, the European uh, support, uh, things are looking better. But of course, nobody can predict the future. Connections used to be the only way to become a civil servant in Greece. But Nick Rokonaki says that's no longer the case. He says public servants have shouldered the burden of Greece's economic crisis. His salary was cut by 10 percent this month and his Easter bonus by 30 percent. I'm not very happy. I think the government should try a lot to, to be more efficient in other uh, fields, not cutting the, uh, the public servant salaries. I think they should increase their income, not their spending. Most tax in Greece is paid by employees and pensioners. Just 18 percent of government tax revenues come from the self-employed. Tax evasion is now making the headlines in Greek newspapers. Some estimates say around 30 billion euros fall through the government's fingers every year. Money is so tight that it might not even pay for restoration work on the Acropolis. Brussels has made it clear it will only provide financial support in an absolute emergency. The debt crisis is changing the thinking of many Greeks. What has happened is that everyone has now accepted that the way we've done things for decades is no longer feasible financially, and it's perhaps not even fair. So the, the status quo, as I say, is, has, has broken. That's step number one. In terms of pulling people together to a common goal, that'll take a bit more time because what has happened to Greek society over the past few decades is that individual interest groups have broken down along the lines of their particular interest. Maro Abu Salam is self-employed and opposes the government's austerity plans. She opened a business selling party supplies just before the crisis began, at the start of the year. But customers have been scarce, and the savings program imposed on Greece by the EU has made goods more expensive. I'm suffering because of the increase in sales tax from 19 to 21 percent. It has to be paid every three months on all the goods in my shop, whether I sell anything or not. At the same time, I have to pay back a loan with an interest at 16 percent. The Greek government wants to make shopping without receipts a thing of the past. More tax inspectors will also increase the tax take. For the moment, Athens tavernas are doing good business. Nick Rokonakis is also fond of a drink after work, but now he can only afford it once a week. And his monthly take-home pay of 1,200 euros wasn't enough for an Easter vacation this year. Well, my, my rent is uh, 600 a month. Uh, the amount I pay for my child is 220. So you can imagine that there is not much left, plus my car, uh, plus the petrol for the car, plus bills. Uh, thank God I have uh, some family support and stuff like that, you know. While Greece's civil servants say goodbye to the good old days, the entire country is fighting to save itself from bankruptcy. If it doesn't succeed, the European Union just may have to step in.